Welcome back to the micro podcast on podcasting. I'm Christine Blasdale, your motivational multimedia coach. And today we're going to be talking about the best microphone you can use for your podcast. Stay tuned. Now, if you're brand new to the podcasting game, you will find out that there are lots and lots of microphones out there. And some of them are quite pricey. Some of them are, well, relatively inexpensive. But for my coaching clients, what I tell them to get is one of my favorite microphones in the whole wide world. And there are two ways that you can go about this. The Shure SM7B is probably one of the best microphones you can ever get. It's broadcast quality. I've used it a lot in the radio station where I worked for 20 years. It is an incredibly amazing microphone. The only issue with the Shure SM7B is it can be a bit pricey for beginner podcasters and also because it does require an XLR input so that you have to have a mixing board and all that great stuff. Now, if you're someone who's really technically savvy and you've got a mixing board and you're all set up and you want to have the best microphone, the Shure SM7B is the way to go. But if you're a beginner podcaster and you just want to plug and play right into your computer with a USB connection, I recommend the Shure MV7. That's what I use. That's what I love. And it is an affordable microphone in about the $250 range. Now, this microphone is exquisite. I love it because it's affordable. I can just plug and play right into my computer. And when I pair it with my Rode Boom Arm, which I love very much. The Rode Boom Arm supports the Shure MV7, and it is a great, great setup. Now, that said, some people prefer to have a pop filter. In addition to this filter that comes with the Shure MV7, that's great. And if you like to have these things, I mean, you're all, you're welcome to it. But I'm not a fan of this thing here. I put it there and okay, well, that's great. But I still pop, pop, pop. I still get pops. Now, here's a tip for you if you're looking to get some great sound out of your Shure MV7 microphone and you don't want to have this weird thing attached to it. So the microphone itself does come with its standard filter. But if you really want to improve the sound, what you need to do is to order the replacement filter for the Shure SM7B. You can get it. I'll have a link in the show notes on how you can order it. And this little bad boy makes you sound even better. So if I were to take this off, excuse me, there is no filter on this at all. So it's quite raw. To show you the difference, if I took this filter that came with the Shure MV7, I took this and looked into the light, I'd be able to see the light right through the filter. So that means it's really thin at the end. I can see the light. Now, when you order the replacement filter for the Shure SM7B, and you take that and look into the light, you don't see hardly anything. It's a much better filter. It's a little bit longer than the original, but it's a way better filter. And so we're gonna put that on now and listen to the difference. As you can tell, when I'm doing my peas and my pop, 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 it sounds a lot better. This is a great filter and it's an inexpensive way to make you sound 10 times better and it will help with those pops. So if we left the original filter on this microphone, you would hear some pops and peas and poop, 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 poop. When you get the replacement filter and put it on, then the sound is much clearer and there is less s -s -s pops. P -p -p less of that popping sound and your voice can actually come through the microphone beautifully. So that's my tip if you want to upgrade your Shure MV7, just get the replacement filter. Don't worry, I have links to everything in the show notes, how to get your Shure MV7 microphone, how to get the Rode boom arm, and also how to get the replacement filter that you want to exchange out for this thin thing that comes with the MV7. Thanks again for tuning in to the Micro Podcast on Podcasting. I'm Christine Blasdale. And if you'd like more help with your podcast, you can always check out my website at christineblasdale.com. I'd love to help you on this journey into podcasting. It would be my honor. Okay, until next time, happy podcasting.